A pilot is dead in the FAA investigating after a plane crashed in Council Bluffs today. WOWT 6 News' Matthew Smith is tracking the latest on this situation. And Matt, it appears the pilot had logged a flight path that would have taken him to Colorado. Uh, but he didn't get that far. John Mallard, the flight actually only lasted a few minutes, starting just before noon, and almost immediately the pilot had to radio back saying that he was having issues. Yeah, I looked at the other two guys in the truck with me and said, oh crap, he's going to crash. And then he hit the ground. Daryl Wade worked 25 years as a firefighter. So it's hard to imagine that it was just a Thursday drive that would lead him to one of the worst accidents he's ever seen. Check the individual inside. No pulse. The FAA is investigating the details of what exactly happened. But Pottawatomie County deputies were among the first to respond. The sheriff says it's clear there were issues within minutes of taking off. He took off. He said he was experiencing some problems. And then as he was coming back to the approach, clipped one of the power lines and ended up in the medium. What those problems were was never spoken over the radio. Whatever it was, it caused the pilot to fly much lower than expected. As the bird flies, he was still roughly two miles away from his landing spot. That's Epley Airfield. I did some digging. The tail number on the plane does check back to a local business, potentially a local pilot. But as of Thursday night, deputies were not releasing a name of that deceased pilot. All that can be said at this point is that the pilot was clearly attempting to get back to safety, but tragically, he couldn't write whatever issues arose. Reporting from Council Bluffs, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News. One witness described the crash as a cartwheel, describing that the plane went end over end. It happened in just a matter of seconds. And we are keeping tabs on the FAA investigation, and when we learn more about the cause of the crash, we'll let you know right here on WWT 6 News.